This recording was made October 18th, 1957 in the old main room 364. Thank you, and we will now proceed with the next record, which is our fourth made. A big weekend at Wesley Junior College. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having the pleasure of interviewing many of the students and faculty of this college as they are preparing for the big weekend. We switch you now to the old main south end where Mike Callan has arranged a few interviews. Take it away, Mike Callan. <laughs> this is Mike Callan here. I have here Mr. Hughes, the head of the old main dorms. Sir, what do you think of the whole situation? <laughs> Another question, Mr. Hughes. I know many of the alumni are coming in for the weekend. Do you have any idea of where they will stay? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hughes. I now have fresh Mary Slavin of Wilmington, Delaware, who would like to say a few words about the weekend. I'm sorry for the things I've done. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the pride of New York, Jimmy Gonzalez. Jimmy, I understand you just got in from New York with your date. Did you have a good trip? Where do you see it? More cool down, the heat went down. That's here comes Marshall Gladnick, who has been playing the trumpet only three months. Listen. <laughs> Very good, Marshall. Now we switch it to the gym where Bruce Baldus in the station. Take it away, Bruce. Here we are in the spacious gym where Mr. Wells and his committee are decorating a place for a ball. Mr. Wells, Mr. Wells could you please tell me what's going on? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wells, but you look very nervous. Is there anything wrong? <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, we are very sorry to interrupt this interview, but Raymond Minnick is giving his sermon in the chapel. When the twilight is gone, and my songbirds are singing, when the twilight is gone, you come into my heart, and here in my heart you will stay. Hi, we're back again. I'm standing here in the doorway watching some of the freshmen bring wood for the big bonfire. McMullen is saying, Sixteen tons. Hey, what's going on here? Well, it's Dr. Slabel. Good evening, sir. Do you have any ideas about the weekend? Doctor, don't leave so soon. See you later, alligator. Wait a minute. Here comes Jim Smith with all the vets. The vets are all here. And wait, I see Skip Trizzati going around mumbling. Well, that's all from them, Jim. Now we switch you over to the snack bowl, where Bob Block has been setting up things for his interview. Hi, dear. Things are really jumping over here, as the jukebox hasn't been silent since I got here. I have Fred Spain. Fred, can I ask you a question? You can do anything but my blue face Fred, what do you think of the football team having so many sick players this week? Wait, I see Lucy Collins. I'll try and call her. Lucy, do you have any boyfriends on campus? Lucy, another question. Are the girls ready for this big weekend? Wait, ladies and gentlemen, here comes a football coach. <laughs> Mr. Cop, how do you feel? <laughs> coach, what will the team have before the game to eat? <laughs> coach, one more question. Almost everyone is a little worried and scared. Can you say anything to cheer us up? Don't you worry, you pretty little head. Thank you very much, Coach. We have time for one more interview. Let's see who's around. Uh-oh, there's Dick Burrows. Hey, Dick! Hello? Dick, do you know how the team looks for the big game? Well, if you don't know, I ain't gonna tell you. 
Wait. Wait. What's this? It looks like the Wesley mascot. It is. It's a whippet. Where did you not get it to see go? Now we switch you back to the old main East End where everyone has gathered in the student lounge. Hi, this is Mike Callen, Bruce Balderson, and Bob Block here at the lounge in the old main. Well, there's Dean Wright. He's talking to Priscilla. Ooh, Priscilla, at last I found you. Oh, come on, baby, let's go downtown. It seems as if everyone is here now, and they will be giving last-minute instructions in a minute. Yes, here comes Dr. Slaybell. La, 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 you're as sweet as the candy bar. Doctor, what will everyone have to wear tomorrow night at the ball? Thank you, Doctor. Uh, doctor, thank you. Please, Doctor. Oh, come on! Doctor, why must the students wear black flats? Dr. Slaybell, do you have a date for the dance? And now I'd like to have a few words with you, Mr. Craig. And now you, Madam Neves, what will you do tonight before you go to bed? After midnight. How long will you walk for, Mrs. Neves? I walk for miles along the highway. Where will you stop? <laughs> will you be looking for something special? <laughs> Thank you very much, Madam Neves. Mr. Wells is coming in the lounge. <laughs> He's saying, gather. Hey, get rid of Mr. Wells, you really looked nervous before in the gym. Would you mind tell us, telling us what was wrong? Well, my baby told me Saturday that she was leaving town. Well, now my baby's gone away. Never comes around. Well, Wells just left me. Mr. Wells, where will you go tonight after this whole party is over? In the garden. In the garden of Eden. Thank you, Mr. Wells. Well, that's about it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you really enjoyed this session, and I've had a real blast this weekend. We hope the homecoming game and the homecoming bowl will both be a success. This is Wesley Junior College in Dover, Delaware, signing off for tonight. Take the word, Rafe. Try sock. The game tomorrow will be a success with us coming out on top, we hope. We know that the coaches put all his efforts for it in this game and that the team is really backing him. Well, good night, take it easy and have a real blast. Go, 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 go! 
That is the end of this recording. One, two, three, stop. This was recorded October the 18th, 1957. October 19th, blah, 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 blah.